What up crew? Today we're going to 3D print, what are these called? Lid covers for a blender for our buddy Brad. And Carla, and Chris, and Molly, and Andy, and Claire, and of course Gabby. Let's check it out. Joe P. Kirchman here, and today's t-shirt segment is brought to you by France, because today we're going to be exploring the culinary world of Bon Appetit. Oh, hold on. Le prononce Bon Appetit. Now, this may not be obvious, but my 3D printing skills are almost as good as my cooking capabilities. So when I was watching It's Alive with Brad Leone... Actually, no, I lied. I just love that intro song. The real segment was called Bon Appetit's Best where Brad shows us how to make amazing piña coladas. But it's in this next clip where I realized I can actually help my friends in need. Oh, Vitamix, if you ever happen to see this video, I, we don't have any more of the tops, so I gotta use this little glass jar. Can we just get some tops? All right, here we go. You ready? And that's when the idea was born. So in an ever popular William Osmond's They Didn't Ask For It But We Made It and Sent It To Them Anyways, I decided to cat up some lids and send it to them. The first thing is trying to find the exact blender that they use. Nothing crazy, just a... And after way too much detective work and complicated international phone calls explaining that I don't even have this blender... Hi, yeah, my name is Joe and I'm calling from London. I'm trying to find a top for a Vitamix blender. No, I don't need to buy the part. I'm just a YouTuber. I actually found the exact model that they use. I believe they have the Vitamix C-Series Classic Blenders Pro 200. But they don't even sell these in the UK, and Vitamix wouldn't give me any schematics. The most helpful thing that I found was an owner's manual saying that it's called a lid plug, but that's the most detailed picture I can get. So we're basically going to be designing this in the dark. But as my buddy Chris Fisher, who is an actual blind woodworker, would say, keep on turning. And that's exactly what we'll do. Let me show you how I did it. I first designed the little latch nubs that are going to hold the lid onto the blender. I then lofted the two circle sketches to make kind of a cone shape. Then I gave it a nice fillet edge and simply cut the names with the text tool into the top. I cut the text about one millimeter deep. I then sliced it with three shells and about 12% infill. This is hopefully going to make it strong enough where those little tabs aren't going to fall off. They're each going to take just over an hour to print, and won't use that much material since the infill isn't super dense. Now I'm gonna send it to my customized JokerBot machine and get to printing. We're speeding this up here at a thousand percent because time flies in the YouTube's land. I'm also printing with corn-fed, homegrown, natural polylactic acid. So because it's a non-toxic, renewable resource, it's all safe for my friends in the test kitchen to use. Just don't go washing it in that hot dishwasher since it has a lower melting point than most other plastics. Stick to old fashioned hot water scrubbing. And yeehaw, look at this thing print. Now for some fancy video editing techniques on that there computer. We can see how every single one of these bad boys was printed. And voila, we have the personal customized lids. And even though my camera can't pick up the quality or detail, they turned out really nice. I'll let the chefs personalize them even more if they want to mark them up with a food safe pen. Now, trying to get in touch with the Bon Appetit kitchen isn't the easiest thing in the world. Oh, Bon Appetit! But now we know how to CAD stuff up for our blender lids. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll leave you with a quote. Turbocharger thing? Oh.